All right, so if you want to achieve your goals, don't focus on them. That goes against everything we've ever said about goals. You set your goals, you write them down, you stay focused on them, you check your list over and over again, and that's how you achieve your goals. Well, I have learned over the course of my life that that is not the way to achieve goals. So I started learning this lesson with my first girlfriend in life. Her name was Lysandra Johnson. I used to look at this girl and think every day, I would love for Lysandra to be my girlfriend. That at my school, you had a different class every hour. Well, first hour, I had woodshop. First hour, Lysandra had home economics. So I walked in the principal's office, said I'd like to change from woodshop to home economics. I walk in the home ec room. There are 22 or 23 girls in this classroom. I asked a girl named Tara Vergamini to move over so I could sit next to Lysandra Johnson. And that day, I asked her to go with me myself. But I tell that story because that's the first time in my life that I can say that I purposely focused on the part that was in my control and ignored the part that was outside of my control. We set goals for ourselves, but our goals are things that are outside of our control. If you, if you want to be the world's best salesman, you don't get to make all the sales yourself. You don't get to do both sides of the transaction. You've got to recruit customers into your life. Behaviors, by contrast, are things that you alone can do. And behaviors are the things that you focus on in order to achieve your goals. You know, and look at the situation with Lysandra Johnson and I. When I was focused on my goal, which was to have this girl be my girlfriend, I couldn't speak to her if I was walking past her in the hallway because I was terrified. All I could think about was my goal. Once I started focusing on my behaviors, I figured out what class she had in first hour. I walk in the home ec room, a room full of girls. I was afraid to talk to one girl. I asked Tara to move over so I could sit next to Lysandra, and she did. I stopped focusing on the goal, and I started focusing on my behavior, and I got myself in a position to achieve my goal. That's really the model for what happens in life. It's a metaphor. We're all on a diet at one point or another. It starts with a goal. You say, I want to lose 10 pounds by the end of the year. We go from our goal to the scale. You know, you, you go through a week where you eat well, you're exercising, you're, you're drinking a lot of water, you're doing all the right things, and you get on the scale and you've gained weight, you quit the diet. If you focus on your goal, you won't achieve it. When I set a goal for myself, I also, I make, a, I make a goal and I'll say, you know, whatever it is, I want to lose 10 pounds. So then I immediately look and I say, I say, what can I do today? What can I do tomorrow? And what can I do this week that's going to get me closer to that goal? And that gets me focused on my behaviors. And I know that if I focus on my behaviors day after day, I keep myself motivated day after day. I feel good about what I've done because I say, I did this, I did that, I did that. I'm not worried about the goal. I'm not worried about how much I weigh. I'm focused 100% on the part that's in my control. If you want to achieve your goals, you have to focus on the behaviors that are the building blocks that get you to your goals. Thank you very much.